I want to show you how to play Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift, uh, featuring the Civil Wars from the movie Hunger Games. Beautiful piece of music, a haunting piece of music. I'll start with the introduction. Now I've set my uh, my keyboard. I set my keyboard to a string piano sound to get that kind of a breathiness that she get, brings to her vocals. But you've basically got an A and an E and a C and a G in the bass. Now it's an A minor sound and it's an E minor sound, C major and G. But I very rarely will even use the chords because it's mostly a single bass note and openness to the thing. So the introduction. So right into the vocals right there. Now what I was doing there, A, bass, and then I'm going E, C, B. And I play the E right here in the bass, B, E, G, E and G play together. So you've got your E, your e minor chord, and then I go to a C, E, E, D, and then the G in the bass, B, D, G, there's your G chord. You just play the arpeggio, then repeat it. This leads right into the melody. So here's the melody there. You got B, 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 A, 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 G, G, F sharp, D, D, E, 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 D, B. D, B, B, A, A, G, G, F sharp, D, E, G. B, B, A, A, C, B, D, E. Okay, and you've still got that same chord progression, the A, A minor, E, minor, C, and G, and they'll fit right in there. So uh, here we go with the bass in it. starts in the chorus the the, the uh, notes are G A B D and you can kind of hold that D back the way she does G A B D B A B A G E just let those fold down and hold it back because it'll tend to want to run and get sing song don't let it let it hold it back A there. She goes D, A, G, A, B, G, E, F sharp, E, G, A, B, E. And you could, you can play the line the same way all the way through there without this, this A, but she makes a little change there. Now what I do in the bass there is I just go between a C and a G with an E, e thrown in there. Your basic chord progression is C, E, G, but this is the way I'm going to play it. I'm going to go C, E, and then it ends with a D. So on the chorus, you've got a C chord, and then an E minor, G, and a D. So you're, that's your chords, but we're going to play it like this. C, E, there you get your E out of that C major triad. C, E, G, E, then G, D, G, D. So an open fifth, so we'll get our G here and our D right there. So on the chorus, with the, with the uh, hands together, she's got... So 
right back into the second verse, right straight back in there, out of the chorus, where you get the... Never, it just ends on a C. Then... Okay, so then... Now then, she plays through the chorus and the or the verse in the chorus, and then she comes to a bridge after that next chorus. For the bridge, she does a there's an ooh syllable that she goes. In the right hand, you're going to have E G A B alternate with D G A B E G A B D G A B, and then there's a duet A C B G or G B. And then there's an echo where just the A, G, A, A and C. Now in the right, left hand, I'm going to, this, that's where she's, she's doing this. They've got a, they've got a little pulsing thing going on there with, with E's, D's and C's in there. But what I'm going to play is just E, da, 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 D, da, D, da, 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 D, da. So your D's. Your D is always going to fall with the D. Here it is. And when you get this, it's a kind of a D7 sound. And going to, a, going to an E minor or a G sound. So on the chorus there, on the uh, bridge there, you've got an E, D, C, D. is going to be on a D right there. So it's you play that echo twice or you play that la 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 and and each time this echo is going to be with the D so you've got leads right back into the chorus. It leads right back into the chorus. And then you play the chorus a couple of times, actually, there with two different uh, sets of lyrics there. And I've got the lyrics right below the bridge in the letter notes. Now, before I play the ending, because I do want to play the ending for you, I want to bring over and show you lettertoteplayer.com. You can get everything that I've shown you. I've got the bass progression right there. I've got your introduction, the beautiful introduction that uh, that just is open and easy. I've got the chords, but I, you don't really use the chords in this, but the, the notes of the chords are there, the right hand melody for the verse and the chorus, and then the hands together. Now there's a little bit of minor variations on the second time through the verse, uh, but you can hear those, and, and I've actually got the second verse written out. So I've got the hands together, and then I do have that second verse written out in letter note fashion so that you can see those minor variations. The chorus I don't write out more than once, and then the bridge I've got right here leads right back to the uh, the ending there. Now, when you've got to the ending, you've got some ooze in the ending, and it goes, it, it's just alternating between a C and a G. So for the ending, you're going to have the she's going to be singing on an oo oo or oo. Here's what I'm playing on there. C, G, C, G, D, G, D. And the last time I'm going to go G, D, G, B. Here we go on the ending. <laughs> 